Guys, you're not gonna believe this. Oh my god, is that it? I mean, I've been camping before, but I've only been camping in Australia. This was like 20 pounds off Amazon. And I'm not built for the rain. Driving through days and nights. Yeah. Fucking sucking them off. <laughs> leaving the pod this morning oh, so sad but that's okay welcome back to another video everybody I hope you're all doing well still on holidays still camping still living honestly my best life and I'm really happy clothes are starting to smell really bad <laughs> even though like I brought a fair bit um I had such a good night last night oh so much fun and then now it's morning and now we've got to leave our pod and I'm so sad about that because I love it here. Oh, look how messy it's going though. Look, I don't know how, I don't know how. I don't know how, but look at the state of it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I will sort that out. It's raining today, let me show you. It was raining all night last night didn't stuff us it's fine get ready for a good day because I'm I need to get ready for a good day because this is a problem if I let me figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs look where we're camping It's just insane here, it's just insane. We're an hour early for check-in, so we can't check in yet, so we're trying to figure out what to do, but I'm assuming like we'll be camping tents down there somewhere. But look at this mountain. This is just like, this is just insane at this point. Did they say we can go in there? That is, it's actually down here, so let's go down. Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can just sit somewhere for the time being, but mate, we are gonna go on some very, very nice walks. Me trying to choose where I want to pitch the tent. Connor's feeling under the tree. We've chose our spot. Oh my god! I can't even deal at this point. Now the two of us have to figure out how to put up a tent together, which is going to be interesting because I've been camping, but I've been camping since I was like 17. I wish us luck. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting all oh, gonna work. Start from the ground. Oh my god, is that it? What did you expect? <laughs> I don't know what I expected. We don't need to ready up. Yeah. Oh my god, this is jokes. Well, we're all set up. It looks like a mess at the moment because we've got stuff drying, but this is our little setup. I've got some soup cooking and then this is our baby, this is our home, our house, our little lounge room and our house. We literally, the, our mattress is the size of the bed so that's it. Look at the view, amazing. Camping! We've gone from a hotel to glamping to proper camping actually. This is proper camping right now, <laughs> this is, wow. This is insane. I feel a little bit like in my depth here. Out of my depth here. Is that the same? Anyway. Now time to relax. One of those. And I do want one of those. I think we'd better put the food Chill inside tight. the car because it's all gonna be wet. Yeah, and probably eaten by animals. I thought I'd be a rat. I know we'll be fine. But no. I've never done anything like this as an adult. 
only as a kid. So this is all very trial and error for us. This soup is good. Well team, I know I keep going on about it. It's just this whole experience is so crazy to me. It's not a big deal, but I mean, I've been camping before, but I've only been camping in Australia during summer when it's 30 plus degrees and you're just chilling in your bikini, going swimming, going fishing, going on into the water, where this is just a whole different experience. I mean, a different country to start off with. It's um, quite cool. It's quite cool. And the rest of it, it's just completely different to any sort of camping I've ever done before. I've never camped here in the cold. So it's all very new to me and I'm loving it. I know it's been like literally 10 minutes since we've been set up, but I'm loving it. Like, it's just, look at it. It's just so cute, isn't it? And it's all trial and error for us. We'll do this and then we'll buy some more proper gear and go again. I just can't literally quite grasp the fact that that is what I'm gonna be staring at for the next three days. Like, people love different things in life, don't they? Some people's ideal holiday would be going, I don't know, to New York in a big city somewhere and adventuring. And like, I love that too, but this to me is, this to me is all I want in life. <laughs> it's just, I just like the simple life, just simple things, just enjoying yourself. And you obviously know I love being in nature. So I'm really amongst it all at the moment. And I'm really happy and I'm really excited to enjoy this next part of our trip. Camping. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna play some games. I briefly showed you in the last video, um, but I didn't talk about it. We bought this game, right? And it's so fun. So obviously I bought you know because I oh fuck look what I just did. Gonna have to sort out those Uno you know cards later. Sorry, Uno. But we bought this game, Ticket to Ride. It's the London version, so it's quite small. And I've we've never played it before. It took us like an hour trying to figure out how to play it. But it's honestly such a fun game. So I'm gonna go get this and I think we play a bit of Ticket to Ride London. Update. This is what we've had to do. Well, this is what Connor's had to do. Just to sort of give us another layer of wet weather protection, I guess. Because our tent doesn't have an outer layer to sort of stop the rain, so that's what we're working with. We're gonna go um, for a walk now and adventure our little campsite. I think down there, see what's going on. It's getting a bit more wet. I've got like 20 layers on right now. I feel like Kenny off of South Park. There's this one bird that keeps following us. It keeps shitting on our stuff. It just shut on our candle, Connor. Look at this bird. Guys, it's just slowly just getting a bit uh, ridiculous. It's literally just pissing down. My feet are soaking wet. We don't even have a tarp to like put over our cooking area. We're literally just getting soaking wet. My shoes are saturated, so I've had to come in the car and try and dry my feet. But the, the towel is wet, and now people are coming over. I need warm socks and I need boots. Honestly, this is what I should have bought some fucking boots. Oh. Oh. oh my god, where did I put that beanie I just had? You know when you just had something and then you lose it? Oh, you can't get out of here right now. Fucking hell, mate. Oh my god. Okay, where's my beanie? Oh, I was sitting on it. Shocker. There we go, that's gonna do. Kick these, I'm gonna go. <sighs> Connor cooked a, such a good curry, but guys, we're sitting out there, and I get it, and I might be moaning a bit more than I should, but we were sitting out there, and it's just raining on us, and like, it's nice, 
as long as I have somewhere dry to come into, and this is how, this is the size of our tent. We are so, um, we, this was like 20 pounds off Amazon. Look how small our tent is. The phone is nowhere to be seen. Okay. Got everything we could possibly need in here and we're gonna play a game. So all right, once you sort of get in position, you're in position, but then it's like, I can't move. I've got to stay in this posi position now until I sleep and it's six o'clock, so. Team, you can't see me right now. Honestly, I'm gonna crouch down here. So we ended up having to um, go to the bar because, <laughs> because this is just too much at the moment. It got too much. The thing is, we were sitting in that tent, right? It was raining, the water slowly seeping in, and um, and, and you just can't move once you're in there. So we decided to go to the pub. We got a couple of drinks. Now we're going to go for a walk down to the creek slash little river, which should be nice. But, oh god, this is like we're hardcore camping. You can't see anything because because we've come out into a field. Should we try and make it down to the river? You want to? I'm a bit scared, aren't you? No. I am. <laughs> it's fucking sucked in a moth. <laughs> it went by the light and I breathed in and it sucked in my mouth. Really? I just sucked in a moth. Did you swallow it? No, I spat him out. That's disgusting, babe. I spat him out, though. Got one of our little torches burning out there. Well, now we're going to do some gaming. And just chill out and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll let you know how day one in this shitty tent went. Good morning. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. Look, I'm gonna be real with you all right now. I am struggling and I sound so dramatic and I sound like such a stupid, like, I don't know. I probably sound dramatic, that's the word. Can you see my breath? It's freezing. It has not stopped raining since we got here yesterday afternoon. Our tent is not waterproof, so it's completely wet in there. I don't want to be negative, actually. I know I need a, I need a change. I need to turn my thought process around. It's just building up with me. And I like being outdoors. But I think it just reaches a point where I'm like, I'd like to go in somewhere and, you know, warm up my feet. Maybe not, you know, maybe have a pair of dry socks or something. I've got a hot coffee. What do I have to complain about? I'm in the middle of the mountains. Life is okay. It's just the mud and the rain that get, gets too much for me. This is why I really struggled in winter last year. I'm not built for winter, I tell ya. And I'm not built for the rain. Yeah. I'm having such a pep talk with myself. Sometimes it's rainy and you know what? No, I'm doing all right. I've got hot coffee in my hand. I'm with my best friend and I'm in a dry car. We might have been a little bit unprepared for this trip, but you know what? It's okay. Anyways, camping day two. Here I am, sitting in the car. What a day. Last time I spoke to you, I wasn't doing too well. I'm revamped. I've literally done nothing today. I had a little nap. Um, rain was really heavy at one point, but you should see what Connor has managed to do to our new setup. It's quite nice now because the rain has stopped. We've got our camp here, dinner cooking, our revamped tent. It does look like a little army hut place. So that is our tent at the moment. I'm so happy the rain stopped, like look at it now. I'm so happy. Yay. Hey team, I hope you're all doing well. I'm not sure the last time I vlogged, um, We've just got back to our campsite after summer ting. A mountain today, I was trying to remember the name then. I think it was called Helvellyn or something. But anyway, we've come back to our campsite and as you have seen in the previous clips, I've been struggling with the camping. It's done nothing but rain. But if you take a look, 
take a look around. It's not raining and I've finally purchased some gum boots. If you are from the UK, you'd call them Wellington boots, I think. Anyway, I've got some waterproof shoes on and I'm feeling really good. We've had such a good day. And look what we've come back to. So our tent before was way over there, right? And we've just come back and as we were away all day, the staff from this campsite moved our entire tent from its position, which was over there and it was super muddy. And they've moved it here. And it's just like the cutest little setup now. And it's so good because it's finally not raining for our last night. We've got our setup, we've got our barbecue on the go, got our lights, got our snacks. Here's our tent. I don't know if I've really showed you how much we've had to like cover in tarp because it was completely water well not water resistant but yeah this is our last little our last little setup and we didn't even set it up the, the campsite receptionist did which bless them is so sweet anyway i'm gonna finish the video here so here's one last look at our last night which is absolutely stunning and i'm so happy about it um but apart from that thank you for watching thank you for watching all of the Lake District videos. I've had so much fun here. I'm really like, I'm sad to go home. You know when you finish a holiday and you're genuinely a little bit sad to go home. I'm feeling that now. So feel, feel that with me. I know you know the feeling. But at the same time, what a way to end the holiday. I'm so happy. I've had such a good trip. So thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in the next video and for the next adventure. I'm not sure what it's going to be after this, but we'll figure it out together. Okay. Goodbye. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years in